So following hot on the heels of the Strymon Iridium, the Strymon Volante was this kind of tape um, type delay, whatchamacallit, that Strymon brought out. And at the time I was quite impressed by it and really like some of the tones you can get out of it. So just as an example, here's my clean tone. So just what I've got going on here, there's a low cut here, obviously you know what that's going to do. It's going to chop into the low of the repeats and you can see that I had that off for this preset because that favourite part is off. Um, kind of subtle. The where basically acts like a high end roll off, I guess it degrades the repeats a bit as well. All the way off you get your brightest repeats and then all the way up you get some of that tape degradation. Mechanics is what is introducing the modulation. So all the way off you get this kind of sound. Very clean repeats so I can... As you introduce mechanics I had the mechanics set here so this is like a medium amount but all the way up you get this kind of broken tape modulation so and then the other thing I wanted to show you was uh, obviously you've got repeats here you know what that's going to do you've got even triplet golden and silver kind of different types of patterns to I'll just show you that actually triplet golden silver so you get you know different kind of patterns there I keep that on even just so it's very clear what these then the other thing is we've got this quite nice spring so all the way up and I don't think the spring is affected by the echo so the delay happens post and maybe in parallel to the reverb but the delays don't have that spring on them so what I wanted to do was put together a preset on my HX Stomp to do a similar kind of thing. So here's the Volante. So I'll just talk you through this preset a little bit. So what I've got going on that's kind of key here, I've got a split Y here. I've got the retro reel because without this you'll hear the delay doesn't quite have as much modulation as the Volante. So that was 
going into the delay so we've got the retro reel there with the wire flutter all the way up um, tape speed down at 7.5 texture at 6.3 but we're not really using that saturation then I've got the transistor tape in stereo a quarter note dot 54% feedback while wow, flutter all the way up scale at 64 to get the kind of thing going on I've got the spread at 10 obviously you could alter that for yourself uh, mix at 100 headroom all the way up to get as clean repeats as I can and that's that and then I've also got the hot springs here with the dwell at 10 you'll notice that the the reverb here is a little bit shorter than the uh, Volante uh, but it's not a bad thing but you could also alter that with different kind of reverbs if you wanted to so anyway the settings there I've got the springs at 3 the drip at medium the low cut at 175, high cut at 9.7, mix at 31 and then I'm boosting the level again so that when I turn on that reverb I don't get like a the feeling of a volume drop so as I say though you could change this to be something like a glitz and get some really cool sounds that aren't necessarily possible with the Volante So really, really awesome sounds from the Strum Volante. I really like that pedal and that was what inspired me to try and do something like that with the HX Stomp and um, let me know if you've got tricks that you like for this sort of thing. The other preset I put together involves the Space Echo. But I think Definitely that retro reel is your friend when it comes to kind of getting these more modulated tape type sounds. Catch you in another video soon and hopefully that was vaguely useful for someone. Cheers!